For a year for Sterling, 16-month 16, 16 loan, a trade-weighted basis, uh, not even George Soros would uh, short it here. Yeah, and, and we don't really see it getting any better. Uh, we started the year thinking that Sterling would be the ugliest of the major currencies. Uh, the yen has year-to-date uh, uh, exceeded uh, that, uh, if that's the right term to use. But uh, we think there's further weakness for Sterling uh, over the rest of the year. It's worth remembering that one of the drivers uh, against sterling is that investors are leaving safe haven currencies. So they're leaving the Swiss franc, to an extent they've been uh, also leaving the dollar, and sterling as well. Now of those, uh, sterling has the weakest fundamental uh, macroeconomic uh, outlook. So it's fallen further. Okay. And okay. Um, talking of weak macroeconomic fundamentals, I want to move on to Spain and Italy. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy uh, gives a State of the Union style address today to the Parliament and Italian elections on Sunday, yet you think both countries, uh, the risks are overplayed? Yes, uh, uh, we actually, we're slightly long on those, uh, on those uh, sovereign bond markets. We do think that there's more worry in, uh, in them than is uh, actually valid. Uh, it's worth noting, I think, in the case of Spain, tremendous progress has been made at the federal level in reining in spending. There is still a problem with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the states, with the regions, who are able to spend and then pass the bill on to central government. They still need to be reined in. But, uh, yeah, we, we th we, we're still buyers of the Draghi put. <laughs> OK. I want to finish up on bankers' bonuses. Now, yesterday there were heated discussions in the EU Parliament. Uh, talks were tense with lots of yelling, apparently. Um, the upshot is talks will resume next week. So I suppose for now at least, uh, you and your mates in the city, your bonuses are safe. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, you could say I would say this, wouldn't I, coming from a bank. But I think it's interesting you see lawmakers in the European Parliament taking on the role of regulators and one really has to ask is this what they should be doing? And then there's a slightly even less charitable suspicion and that is there is a continued view in the minds of many continental Europeans that the crisis was caused through Anglo-Saxon uh, capitalism, that the that it's bankers' rap rapacity that causes. Well, it Never was, wasn't it? I mean, this was started by the subprime crisis in the States. Oh, no, no the sub-fund crisis. Sorry, I, I, but what these guys are really concerned is uh, of the Eurozone debt crisis and the fact that those countries mounted up huge debts uh, didn't really have much to do with my behaviour.